What's up guys, Arceus Cam, and welcome to Pokemon Strategy Extravaganza Part 7. And today, we got a lot of Pokemon that haven't been heard of in a while, but because of my strategies, they make them um, probably the most surprising, maybe sometimes probably the most annoying strategies you've ever met. This first one will probably be one we've all heard of. Rose Raid, a personal favorite of mine. Well, Pokemon, that is. Um, nature should be naughty, her name should be the leftovers, and its ability should be poison point. So that should be 252 attack, 176 speed, 76 HP, and 6 defense. So you're looking right now, it's probably a mixed sweeper. You're correct, because of its high highish offensive stats. Um, defenses you should really worry about, but since you got poison point, they do attempt to knock you out. At least you can try to get poisoned in the process. And its attack should be Growth, Hidden Power Dragon, Poison Jab, and Giga Drain. So basically, first you're going to want to start out with Growth. If you don't know what Growth what does, it rises a special attack. And because of Generation 5, it got upgraded to rising special attack and attack, making it an excellent mix sweeper. Hidden Power Dragon basically takes up most of the types that Poison Jab and Giga Drain can't take care of. So it, it covers a lot of types with at least normal damage, which is good. And you got Poison Jab, your only physical move in this set, but it does a good amount of damage because of growth and stab and, you know, just Poison Jab, your high offense stat. And Giga Drain, once you want to heal and you're starting to get a little offbeat in this strategy, so use Giga Drain, you'll be all refreshed. Well, at least depending on the Pokemon you're facing against. This next Pokemon, a lot of people hate it, but they love it just for a beat-up doll for training. Well, this Audino ain't messing around, and he doesn't want you to beat it up, or else you die. <laughs> and, it, yep, it's Audino. Nature should be modest, her name should be the choice specs, and its ability should be regenerator. Audino is a fantastic Pokemon if you choice spec it. Plus, its special attack move pool is outstanding. It has amazing has amazing overall basic bulk and because of regenerator it can restore HP once you switch. So guys they may seem it's ridiculous but Audino is excellent. Stat should be 252 special attack, 84 special offense, 84 defense, 84 HP and 6 speed. So you're looking. Its special attack is very low. But because of choice specs, it's risen to 360. Now that is an amazing offensive threat. Its HP and and amazing bulk make it hard to knock out. So guys, this would be a great choice for a Pokemon. Its, that sh its moves should be Surf, Psy Shock, Thunder, and Flamethrower. Um, right now, it doesn't have any um, special attacking normal moves that it can learn. So we might as well stick with a good variety of move pool with different types. So Surf, to get a lot of Pokemon out, and if you're not careful enough, one of your Pokemon, that is. You also got Psy Shock. When you're working with the defensive Pokemon such as, oh, I don't know, uh, Reggie Rock. I mean, no, no, Reggie Ice. It's like, if you wouldn't normally deal with its high special offense. It would deal with its defense, which is actually, even though decent, but much better than working with special offense. Something like that, if you're in that type of trouble. You also got Thunder for heavy, heavy um, um, electric damage and Flamethrower. Just there. It's Flamethrower, and we all know what it does. This next one may seem even more ridiculous than all to know, but guys, just as amazing. It's done sparse. Nature should be adamant, her name should be the leftovers, and its ability should be Stern Grace. Whatever the heck that is. Stat should be um 152 HP, 6 attack, 176 defense, and 150, 176 special offense. You guys have no idea what you're messing with here. Its HP is outstanding. It's bulk. Awesome. Attack may be low, but that's not the point of the strategy. 
Attack should be attract, body slam, roost, and yawn. Alright, for one, guys, the strategy will not do as good with ghost types, so you can't inflict damage on any ghost types with the strategy. But you could at least annoy them to death. So first, you're going to use attract, um, which I'd recommend get make this Dunsparce female, because there's a lot more male Pokemon than there are females. So your odds will heighten that for this will work. And because of its ability, Body Slam won't have a 30% chance of paralyzing. It will be 60. So most of the time, you will always get a paralyzed from this Pokemon. Then next, you're going to probably want to use Yawn to get asleep. So your opponent will be annoyed as heck. You can either paralyze it with Body Slam, you can make it asleep. And along with Attract, guys, your opponent's going to be annoyed. And with Roost, that just that just adds more to the fun. It really does. But I warn you, Body Slam and Yawn can't be used together. It won't work good. So maybe instead of Yawn, other options could be a, an attacking move such as which, whatever it can learn. <laughs> but either way, this is a fantastic Pokemon to try. Now, this next one, probably not as ridiculous as um, Dunsparce, but definitely less ridiculous than Audino. Or probably around there. B-Burl. Nature should be impish. Her name should be the leftovers. Its ability should be simple. Guys, it may seem like super weak. But once you get the simple ability, that makes everything a whole lot better if you use it right. Stats should be 252 attack, 176 special offense, 76 HP, and 6 defense. So it's bulky with a good attack stat. And its attack should be Curse, Aqua Tail, Headbutt, and Bulldoze. So first you're going to want to use Curse. It will rise attack two stages instead of one because of its ability. Same for defense. But as for speed, it will be lowered by two. But as for this strategy, who cares? Who needs speed, right? Then you're going to want to use, and your attacking moves are Aqua Tail, Headbutt, and Bulldoze. So now it's obvious, you're working with a very powerful threat. Use Bulky. And since Curse Rise's defense, I kind of want to deal with special defense a little bit first. But anyway, so Aqua Tail for good stab damage, Headbutt for stab, and if you want to go for that flinch. If, crazy enough, you're faster, and Bulldoze. Basically, you fill things up, but it can lower speed, which can help you. Last Pokemon. Now, we probably haven't heard this name in a while. But, it's Sunflora. Nature should be bold. Helene should be the big root. Its ability should be chlorophyll. And guys, this strategy is really good. And Sunflora may seem unusable, in a way. But this one will be excellent. I promise. Stat should be 252 in defense. 172 HP. 78 special attack. And 8 special defense. So it's very bulky. HP is a bit of a downer, but it's usable with its excellent bulk. Special attack is around decent. It's usable. It's a usable special attack. Its attacks should be Ingrain, Leech Seed, Giga Drain, and Sludge Palm. So first you're going to want to start with either Ingrain or Leech Seed. Ingrain will plant roots into the ground and make you heal HP each turn, just like Aqua Ring. And Leech Seed will steal HP from the from your opponent and then give it to you for each turn. Make it a crazy healer. And to add more fun to his HP stealing um extravaganza, you got Giga Drain. Stab and along with the big root, it'll do extra drainage, extra and, and extra damage. Which is awesome. And you got sludge bomb in case you want to go for that poison. Just to steal more HP from your opponent and give it to you. Guys, these Pokemon are awesome. They they are truly awesome. The the last four. Rose Raid, we all know about, but this no one will expect a Rose Raid like that. A mixed sweeping Rose Raid. I mean that guys, you gotta admit, that's awesome. Alright, guys. Hope you enjoyed this strategy. Stick around for the last two parts, maybe three. Alright, see ya.